Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Siobhan and I'm a first year medical student at King's College London. And I also make YouTube videos about uh, medical school and university. And uh, today I have here, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm also a first year medical student at King's College London. So I've known Shiv for around like half a year and also an international student as well. Yeah, so like you said, we're both international students. So we, today in today's video, we're going to be talking about what it's like to apply to medicine in the UK as an international student and uh, what it's like starting here as an international student as well. Right, so yeah. uh, let's begin. So the first thing, uh, first question that we have discussed or we can talk about is why medicine in the UK? Why should you study medicine in the UK as an international student? So Anthony, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, for me, there are like a few reasons because I studied in a boarding school before in the UK. So I've learned about the differences of the teaching style compared to Hong Kong, which is where I studied before that. So I think in the UK, they usually give more guidance and it's more like of a step-by-step -step learning process rather than like giving everything at you at once and leaving you out in the dark, trying to figure out everything on your own. Because I, I can't learn that way. Someone can, but um, I can't do it in Hong Kong. And I also think um, it's a lot less cramming and the UK medical school focus a lot more on um, the art side of medicine compared to Hong Kong. Uh, so that means they focus a lot more on clinical skills, how to build the rapport with patients, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously the living style is quite different as well with a lot of cultural diversity and very a lot of activities to do in London, which I didn't enjoy because of COVID, but I hope to um, start next year like freshers. Mm. Yeah. So I, I pretty much agree with most of that, but I also add that for me, the UK was one of the few places that I could apply to as an international student where I could do medicine as an undergraduate degree, because in places like the US and Canada and at many universities in Australia as well, you have to uh, do medicine as a postgrad and I wanted to get into medicine right away. And also, of course, the UK has a very high standard of medical schools with some of the best medical schools in the world. And that causes the, all the medical schools to really try and keep up to that. And that's why I feel like it was a great place to study. And uh, the NHS as well, I mean, no healthcare system is, uh, in, is perfect, but I feel like the NHS is a very good healthcare system to witness and learn from. You know, so, okay. Um, so moving on to the second one, uh, how does the application process differ when you're applying as an international student? So do you have anything for that? Well, it's not that different. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you still complete the UCAS and apply to four medical schools. But I guess during the process, you might need to fly over to attend interview or if you want to visit the medical school for open days, then you need to fly over as well. And also upon rece receiving your conditional offer, you might be requested to do an IELTS test, which I did for some reason. So I need to do that additionally as well. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, it was pretty much the same for me. I didn't have to do the IELTS because uh, I did IB English. So you should probably look into what English uh, requirements are there and whether you already meet any of them or you have to take an extra test like the IELTS. But um, yeah, I had to fly over to give my interviews and stuff. And that's quite a big deal. You have to plan it in the middle of all your uh, mock exams and stuff like that. So uh, you should keep that in mind when you're applying and when you get your interviews. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So moving that directly moves us into the next question, which is what are the disadvantages of applying as an international student? So some difficulties. 
Um, well, I'll start. Okay, wait. Finish. Finish your sentence. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Do you have anything? So, I think the main difficulties we have, even though、uh, I studied in a boarding school, is that there's a cap determined by the government. So it's like twenty to forty max in all middle schools.、Uh, that's how many they can take per year. And also another thing to consider is the international fees. And at the moment, we're paying around how much? Forty k. Yeah.、Uh, for King's College. Forty to forty k, depending. Yeah, on- exactly. Excluding rent and living and alcohol and all that. So. And then- yeah. Scholarships or bursaries for international students, which makes it even more difficult. Yeah, exactly. There aren't there aren't that many scholarship, as far as I know.、Mm. Um, and then the next hardest thing is that because of the competitive、uh, competitiveness of international、uh, application, therefore you tend to need higher you know、uh, requirements、nice. such as. Such as UCAT scores, BMAT scores, whatever. If they say the threshold for you know last year is like two thousand seven hundred, expect international students to all get like two thousand nine hundred, for、yeah. example, basically. Exactly. Yeah.、Uh, so if you if, if probably the minimum requirements given on the universities or the medical schools pages are more applicable to the、uh, domestic students who are applying, the locals from the UK. Because usually, if they meet most of those minimum requirements, they usually get an interview or an offer. But as an international student, you should know that meeting those minimum requirements doesn't guarantee anything for you. And if you take a look at some FOIs, you can see the caliber of international applicants that apply. I think, yeah, like you said, the the average UCAT score is like a hundred, two hundred. Points higher for the international、yeah. applicants than it is for the locals. And、uh, anything else? Yeah, like I applied to the University of Sheffield as well, and King's is has very high requirements in comparison to Sheffield. But I didn't get a place at Sheffield because they had such few places for international applicants that the competition was much higher over there. So you should look at that when you're choosing your medical schools to apply to as well. Yeah, that that's a very good tip. I think I scored a. I think as far as I know, I'm the lowest scoring UCAT international like international students for yeah, UCAT. Like everyone <laughs> has like seven twenty, seven thirty. Higher than exactly, and then not doing stuff like that. Very competitive. Yeah, and yeah, another thing is like because UK students usually have GCSEs to back up their application, and we, if let's say shift didn't、uh, have anything apart from IB, yeah, exactly. So、um, then that will it won't weaken your application, but like. Compared to other some medical schools such as Oxford, it's which take GCSE into account,、mm-hmm. yeah. So that is also something to consider. Yeah, yeah, and、uh, also if you're a, like、uh, Anthony was in the UK and you're studying in the UK, but if you're a complete international student, then it's unlikely that you can you'll find someone close to you to guide you as well through the whole application process and knows like the little details and Who's experienced it firsthand, or、uh, something like that? That's quite difficult to find as an international student,、uh, and that gives you a bit of a disadvantage. But so I recommend that if you're an international student, try and find someone who has applied from wherever you are, whichever country you're from, who has applied to medical school in the UK, and try and see what they learned from the process and or any tips they may have. Or watch Shivan's videos. <laughs> well, yeah, or、well, you can do that. I mean, you should definitely <laughs> do that. Yeah. Yep. Next, next.、Uh, then, work experience. So, what work experience did you do as an international student? Obviously, you can't get like local work experience. You were here, so I'm assuming you did some work experience here. But yeah, what? Okay. Yeah.、Um, oh, yeah. That was like another disadvantage, I suppose. You can't really get local working experience. 
but for me, um, first of all, I didn't have a lot of work experience because I only made up my mind to study medicine in like halfway through the summer holiday before the final year. So that was quite a rush. But before that, I knew I would, you know, do some kind of um, biomedicine, biomedical or biochem related. And I also quite like volunteering. So I volunteered quite a lot in mm-hmm. elderly care home, youth center and primary school, etc. But then um, the most important part is definitely uh, the shadowing in a clinic in Hong Kong for around two weeks. It isn't long, but I had a lot of valuable insights, which um, form almost like half of my personal statement like i think it's obviously the long the longer it usually doesn't mean the better it's like how much you get from each session of your work experience and like how much reflection you can uh kind of write about after after each uh after every time you visit the hospital basically so it's not really about how long you've been there Mm. Yeah, so like for my for my work experience, I did all my work experience in India and I found like a challenge to be that in India they don't really facilitate work experience for um for uh, students who are not yet medical students. So like high school students, they don't have yeah. opportunities for them to do work experience. So I really had to go out of my way to find a place that would let me come and shadow or uh, witness all this. Uh, so that was definitely a challenge, but uh, yeah, if if you uh, go out of your way to find a place, you should be able to find some place that will let you do work experience. Although it be a bit harder, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much yeah. And like, yeah, and the length of work experience doesn't matter. There was one that I did for three weeks, and I learned just about as much as another one I did for three days. So yeah. Yeah, and like, it doesn't have to be in like a hospital, a public hospital or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, As long as it's somewhat healthcare related, I would say it can be very useful. Yeah, yeah. And uh, knowing what to look out for before going into your work experience also can help a lot with what you get out of it. Because the work experience I did later on, I had some idea of what I should be looking for versus the first one. I just went in with like no idea and I wasn't sure what to take out of it. And uh, if you want to know more about that, I'll link one of my videos on work experience up here in which I talk about what you should be looking out for. Yeah. And uh, then the last question. So what are some good things or some advantages of being an international student in the UK or studying medicine as an international student? Um, well, this year, I can't, I can't say a lot because I've been studying at home for quite, for, you know, most of the time. That's but I suppose the first thing that you get is like, when you when you tell others that you're an international medical student, they yeah. immediately look at you like you're some sort of genius. While in fact we're really not. Well, I'm really not. Yeah. So yeah, that's like the first advantage, I suppose. But yeah. um, seriously, I think studying in the UK is a massive uh, opportunity, and like everyone should be like you should be very grateful that your parents are supporting you with the fees and therefore um, should make the most out out of it. There are so many things to do, uh, let's say in King's College London, and I still haven't fully explored any of it. Yeah, I don't definitely. I mean, coming as an international student and experiencing an entirely different city and entirely different culture and things like that, that's one huge advantage. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're definitely not geniuses. It's just like, it's just like you do or die for us, you know, like we have to do, do as well as we can, otherwise we won't make it here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and uh, it definitely, it definitely is, a, I mean, it is more challenging to get in as an international student, but uh, at the end of the day, you reap all the benefits that the students here have and uh, you really can take advantage of like 
great quality of teaching great uh, like great teachers and great resources and stuff like that and it just makes yeah feel worth it yeah the the thing that most like that was most I don't know, remarkable to me is how everyone was so friendly in at kings um the lecturers the, mm. the tutors and as well as the students like they're all very interested in how you know how for example my place hong kong was like and i'm sure like most a lot of people ask about shifts uh hometown as well so it feels nice that everyone is kind of accepting you as an international student in uk yeah no it's very comfortable being an international student here because and not only in medicine but uh, even other courses you're surrounded by like international students from everywhere so it's always interesting to yeah exactly who come from different places so yeah i mean i would definitely recommend coming to the uk if you're an international student who wants to do medicine it's definitely in my eyes it was definitely one of the top choice yeah yeah, yeah for sure for sure so yeah i think that is everything that's it and uh, uh if you like the video and drop a like and hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah i will uh see you guys in another video and yeah that's it thank you